Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Curly. Hey, Laura. I've had a day already, guys. <laughs> How many of you guys? Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn, will you go post it in our Facebook group? I, anyway. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Bren. Nice to see you guys. So, today may not be a long live stream. I might have to do it in parts because, um, you guys, summer is here and we've been out of school like a week and I've already like just a little bit ago, I, my daughter, my daughter goes to tutoring and the tutor called me and said, aren't you coming for tutoring? And I said, we don't have tutoring today. We have tutoring on Thursdays. And she's like, except for today, today is a makeup day. I was like, oh my gosh, seriously. Today is a makeup day. You guys, I cannot remember everything. I'm definitely falling behind. So, um, we're going to work on our, um, altering encyclopedias. That's what we're going to, that's our, that's the next, like, thing I'm starting is doing altering encyclopedias. So, you started off with accidentally leaving your phone at home when you went to work. Oh, great. I can't remember, you can't remember anything. Oh, good, then it's not just me. You guys, I swear, it's like, and it, you know what, it, the other thing is this? It always happens on my stream days. Can I tell you, it always happens on my stream days. I don't know why. And it's sort of irritating when it happens on my stream days. Anyway, um, I'm sorry that was the tutor because we were late. So I just wanted to know. So I ran out of tutoring and then I got here. So I'm only going to stream for probably an hour and then I can come back and we can start again. So, you guys, I'm over it. How many of you guys saw the stream on Friday with Meridel Abrams? Oh my gosh. You guys, I never, I haven't laughed that hard in so long. I completely love her. And her channel is the Mary Atia. And you guys should go check her out. She's so fun. You crafting along tonight? Ooh, good. Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, you guys, it's just what it is. I just got to, like, breathe and just breathe through it all so I let me just preface this by saying you can do this this is going to be like like a recipe book Rosemary gave me that suggestion Rosemary Morris she said you know when we were on um in um hi Vicky hi Patricia when we were in hi Malia when we were in Meridel's stream hi Roy um she said you know she has one of these books it's kind of like a recipe book but you know, for me, I like things to end up beautiful, but this is not supposed to be that. This is supposed to be just, now look, you can make it beautiful. I'm not telling you not to. This is just going to be like a recipe book or a book that you can practice in, practice things in. Hi, Mark. And um, so that you can go back and do it in other books. Okay. So I found these old, these, I got a, a, quite a few of them. These, these are pretty old. These are from, well, I don't even know. These are kind of like encyclopedias, the great books of the Western world. And they're from the, I want to say the fifties. Yeah, they're copyright 1952. The pages in my book are really thin. You can use any book. You don't have to use an encyclopedia, but I, I suggested it because most of the time everybody can find one for free. Hi, Dawn. But you can, you can get anything. Hi, Christy. So the first thing we're going to do is, or I can just show you, this is, I can show you, some, I'll show you the next stream, some of my more finished altered books, but this one is just going to be all about creating, um, you know, creating right here with what you have in this, creating pockets and tucks. It's sort of like doing it before you do the, before you do the fun part, which is the decorating. 
So what I did with this book is I took out some of the pages. Now you don't have to take the pages out of your book, but if you don't take the pages out, some of the pages out, you will have an alligator mouth book. Like see how this book is already becoming like an alligator mouth and I haven't finished it. And this is just a glue book, but I didn't take out a, I didn't take out a whole lot of pages and it's already becoming an, an alligator mouth. By that I mean it's going to be like why the, the front of the book, the mouth part will be bigger than the spine. So I glued a cut. These pages are so thin. Okay, so I glued probably three or four pages together in each one. So the first thing we're going to do in our book is you got to determine. Okay, it, this is just a practice book, not a not a, not meant to be beautiful, right? And not to me meant to be the end result. So you have to say, okay, how many pages am I going to take out? And you can start. So the very first thing I did was I glued. This is called a fly leaf. I glued a, a couple of pages to the front of my book. Okay, so you guys decide, and you know, like the front fly leaf is usually a thicker, thicker page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Same thing with this one. This is the one that I've done a few things in, and this is the one I'm gonna work on. Now I'm using glue stick, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm not leaving the pages of my book. I'm not leaving the pages of my book as they are. I'm either going to cover them with something else, I'll cover them with other papers. So I'm not worried about um, them wrinkling. Okay, so, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to glue the whole thing down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue around the edges. So I'm just going to do to the spine, this way, this way, and this way. And I find that works better. And then I'm going to shut my book. And then I'm going to do it again to the next page. I'm going to glue like maybe three or four. Now use what you have. If you don't have a glue stick, use wet glue. But make sure you're doing it with a fairly dry brush. What are you saying? What's awesome? <laughs> I missed it. Hi, Christy. You're crafting along doing your journal cover. Oh, good. So just know you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll be here for about an hour and then I'll be gone for maybe 20 minutes and then maybe I'll come back. It just depends upon, I have to pick my daughter up from tutoring. It's my life. You know, I make her tutoring on days that my partner's home because then we can share that, right? We can share the picking her up and taking her kind of thing. But he always has Thursdays off. So that's why the tutor's texting me. Are you coming or not? <laughs> You're crafting too. Oh, good, Dawn. Dawn, how's Leah? Malia's saying she can make an awesome, not very even Afghan, but any, <laughs> anything but non rectangular is beyond you. I hear you. Oh, well, I'm so glad that you guys are like having. Having a good crafty summer so far. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do in my book. Now, you guys, these are just ideas. You do not have to do it. The next step is I think I'm going to add some tug pot, like some pockets or tug spots in the front of my book. So what I did with this one is, I don't know how well you can see it, is I took maybe three or four pages, glued them around, and then I tucked it down, and then I did another pocket behind it. Let me find a find a magazine page so you can see it okay so there's two two pockets now you guys realize that we're just planning out these are the planning stages this is not going to have the end result hi Carla you'll tell her how oh, I love her oh Leah oh, she's so sweet I still think about that video that she made about the things falling in the ice maker I have to tell you that was crazy so if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to tear out a few pages in between, and I'll tell you why. It's because if I want to stick some bunch of bulky stuff in the pockets, I want it to be good. So, and I'm not going to glue these down because I'm going to go back. We're going to go back at some point and either paint or cover them or something. And I want my edges to be up so that I can tuck it around nice, so that I can get it in nicely as I'm doing it. Okay, so the next, if we're going to do this 
pocket. The next page will be, now I fold mine first, you figure it out. So I want mine a, a large one, I mean a smaller pocket in the front and a higher pocket in the back. Hi Jean. Hi, hi Lala, how are you? Hi Diesel. Okay, so I'm doing three because these are these really thin pages. But if your book is thick, you don't have to. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three, and I'm just gonna fold them down. I'm gonna actually fold them toward myself first, and then I'm gonna fold them back the other direction. Okay, so that's one. Now, because these are not gonna be the final pages. You don't have to be perfect, you guys. You don't even have to be perfect even if you were doing your final pages. Okay, so I've put three pages together and I've just folded them down. Now I'm gonna rip out in between, I don't know, maybe three or four pages. You can't see the chat you're doing Yoga. Hi, Mary. You guys go over and watch our Friday, our last Friday night stream with Meridel Abrams on her channel, The Mary Atia. It was so fun. I laughed so hard. Mary, you're awesome. You're a great host. So great. It was so fun. Now, you don't have, if you don't want to take out pages in between, you don't have to, you guys. That's just what I'm going to do. Okay, so the next pot, the next tuck I'm going to make, I want it to be, I want it to be higher. I want my pocket to be higher up, right? So, just gonna first try to figure out how exact, how big of a pocket I really want. Let's see. And I'm not gluing this it down yet. It was an awesome hangout. Oh, uh, it was so fun. I laughed so hard, Mary. I needed that laugh. How many of you guys like sometimes you just come on a Friday night and you just after your work work week you just need a laugh. Okay, so see. Let me see if I find a pen so you can, this, this one thing I didn't think out when I was telling you guys I was going to do this. I'm just going to show you, I'm not, this is not part of the, part of the altering, but I'm going to just show you so you can see the difference between the pocket sizes. I'm going to take, um, let me see, I'm gonna take this green ink. I'm just going to just ink the edges. Let me find my, guys, I did too good of a job throwing away my stuff. How many of you guys do that where you throw away, like, you, like clean your desk off for a second? I'm just going to ink the edges so you can see. So you can see where one pocket is. Now know that I'm going to cover up my pockets. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to paint in this one. I think I'm going to paint on papers. And then I'm going to um, put the papers in after I paint. I'm going to glue them down. Because these pages of this particular encyclopedia are so thin. But if your book is good, you could just sew it as we go along, but I'm not going to. Okay, so do you see the pocket level difference? Now you can see it because I colored it. Every night, every night you need to laugh. You're going into lurker mode. Oh, girl, I hear you. Can I tell you, I was ready to go into lurker mode with my life. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab three or four, three pages, and I'm going to just mimic the fold that I've already done. And I'm not gluing anything down. I'm gonna leave it just like that okay now that's two now if you wanted to make it if you were smarter than me and you made it a little lower you could actually do three tuck spots okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is rip out a few more pages maybe three or four the small my small ink pads last I don't know you know I'm not a big stamper, you guys. I use my ink more like paint, so mine lasts. Okay, so I ripped out four. Now then, this is where you're gonna have to glue. You're gonna need to glue because you're gonna need some sturdy background, a sturdy back to either, either we're gonna sew, or maybe we'll grommet, or maybe we'll glue. I don't know, all of these pages together. Not today, after we, we're gonna decorate, and then we're gonna tack them together. So you need at least three, if you're, if you're, book is like mine and flimsy okay if you have a sturdier book you know if you have a sturdier book my glue is so I need more glue you guys I thought I brought them in here with me 
because right before we started our stream, I know I brought the glue in here. Where did I put it? Right before we started our stream, I had a phone call, I had like a business phone call. Does that ever like set you guys off? Like you all of a sudden get a phone call out of the clear blue and you're just like, oh no, now I really, and it's like, oh, I have to take this call. It's like one of those that you've been waiting on. So that was what it was right before. That's why I wasn't on right at three. You're doing an altered book? Well, we're just doing the layout of the book. We're not going to do any of the decorating. That will do another time. It's just, so this is how I like to alter a book, but you guys do it your way, okay? I like to kind of know, I like to kind of plan out like this type of thing, like where my tuck spots are going to be, where my, and then based on all that, I go back and I add papers and I add whatever jelly printing or photographs or whatever I'm going to do. Okay, so I've glued together, it may need one more in my case because this book is so thin. And I'm just going along the spine and then along all the edges. Because after you start gluing your stuff on your book, it becomes, you don't, you don't really, the insides of it, are, unless you're going to paint directly on it, and even if you do, I don't find it so necessary to glue all the way around. Okay, so now this is what we have so far. And you don't have to glue these down. You can, but once we start putting the papers and different stuff in it, you'll see it'll it'll take on its own thing. So we've glued some pages down to the flyleaf. And I'm thinking I'm a, I might put like a picture or a pocket or maybe even a pocket in the front there. I don't know. We folded our, we've made our two pockets and now we have glued three or four pages together. All right. That's where we are so far. Now, the other thing is that you know, if you have some paper clips, that might help you if you wanted to clip down areas of your book that you've already done. Hey, Denise, how are you? Yeah, these are some old encyclopedias. I, you know, I told you guys that I, I go to a used bookstore all the time and they call me whenever they get them in. Okay, so here I've done it in this book. Here's the pages and I've glued this in. Now the next, this was my thought and I don't know. So I glued, right after I glued my backing down here that I'm Charlie no right after I glued my backing down that I'm going to sew or grommet I went ahead and I glued maybe six or seven pages together because I thought for this next one and then I went ahead and I left, I don't know, I cut, tore out a bunch in between and then I left another maybe 10 pages, 20 pages. It's so thin, it's really hard to tell on this side because my thought is, and I haven't really totally thought it all out, my thought is, is I may make one of those pockets, if you ever go back and look at my altered book, uh, I have an altered book journal on there, where you, where you glue the sides together, but you need something substantial and you cut out the center. So go ahead and glue stop Shh. go ahead and glue you guys this only happens on my stream days I glue three or four pages together and then I've clipped them together so I know and then I separated 20 more pages and I'm gonna and I'm gonna just let that be okay so let's do that part you'll see it as it comes together I know it seems like ridiculous but so the next thing is to glue three or four pages together. Now, if your book is thick, you don't have to. Your dog always barks. No, you know what it is? Okay, so every single time I stream, this is what happens. The little boy next door or the little boy down the street comes to sing to my daughter. Um, right before the stream, the cat brought in an enormous lizard, which I didn't find. I'm waiting for her to bring it over here. Um... You know, like my neighbor decides they're going to um, weed eat. Remember a few weeks ago, it was the guy, it was somebody looking for a guy that lived here like five years ago or something. You know what I mean? It was like they were coming to repossess his car. He lived in the guest house behind our house five years ago. I mean, just stuff like that. I always tell my hottie, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's like the chance of your kids usually bark on yours, except last night they were nice and quiet. Oh no, so right now my neighbor, so my neighbor, her, the lady who lives in the back now, her car broke down. 
and I'd taken her to get a car. I'd taken her to get a rental car. They had towed her car. She's a surfer. And I guess tide, the tide came in. And they towed her car. It, it got stuck in the sand or whatever. And when they towed it, they tore the bottom off of her car. So then I, to I told her I would take her to get a, um, a rental car. So I did. And so now she is... The reason the dog's barking is because an Uber showed up. Your dog's bark. You guys, I don't know. Maybe it was better when I had it in my bedroom. But then on that side of the house, you heard the people next door with this big truck. Okay, so now I've glued four pages together, and then we're going to count. I don't know. You Use it up to you. But I would leave a hefty amount. Look, you can always go back, and we can do something else with it, but... If your pages are thin like mine, do at least at, do at least 20. If your pages are thin like this. If they're thicker, you can do less. Because I may want to tear some out in the middle, but I want to leave enough. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think that's plenty. Okay, so I'm going to clip mine down so that I don't get them caught up in any sort of my next thing. Now, what's kind of cool about making a book like this when you plan out the insides is that, like, you could do this as a scrapbook. If you, if you planned it out and said, oh, I have X amount of pictures, you know, like, I know everybody's got all this graduation stuff coming up, you know, or went through graduation, all those pictures, you could have really kind of little graduation book for somebody and then you know it makes it it's just kind of a fun little different thing okay this is the next thing we're doing so I'll give you guys a couple minutes and then I'm going to tell you what you need for the next section what you need for the next section is a piece of something you can make a template out of this is the cereal box okay so this is what I use for mine so that's all you need for the next and you need to cut it in a couple of different ways you can cut some curves in it, okay? Because the next thing we're doing are these curved pages. Let's see, I'm going to ink the edges so you can see this too. can't see anything. Now know that I'm going to cover these up. They don't have to be perfect, so I want you guys to let go of the perfection. Remember, this is just, as Rosemary named it, your recipe book. Okay, so that's one, and then I'll show you the other one that I made, and so you can see them against the backdrop. Friday night was so fun with you, Mary. I had such a good time. It was so fun. I loved all the projects, and I went for, um, I was at the bingo the other night, but I, for whatever reason, my computer, the chat, I couldn't chat very, I don't know, I need a new computer, I think, but, so this is what we're doing next, so the very first thing you need to do is get yourself some cardboard, or something that you can make a template from, so you see there's going to be two, and I did tear out some pages in between, I don't know if you can see, but I did, but we can do it together, I had so much fun, it was so much fun. I laughed so hard. I enjoyed it so much. And how many of you guys went to Care's auction? Her auction was awesome. I spent way too much money, but it was fun. I'm sorry. Let me just see if this is the tutor. Okay. Anyway. What did you say? Your signal keeps dropping YouTube. Oh, I hear you. Hi, Dana. Okay, so are you guys ready? Is everybody ready to move on to the next one? Realize this is your recipe book. We're, we're, the, we're doing this in steps. You know what? I don't get all the notifications either, Roy, so I don't know what it is. Hi, Barb. 
Malia, you liked Kira's auction being getting things out there late. She had some really good stuff. But the most important thing was that she raised enough money to, I think, pay for the shipping for, I, I think, this month and next month. I'm not sure, but it'll be awesome. I'm sorry that I'm, I saw your live stream, Barb, but I couldn't chat very much. And I, I'm definitely going to make that stained glass because I love alcohol inks. They don't necessarily love me, but I love them. Okay, so let's make this page. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to um, glue two or three pages together because it needs to be, even though you're going to recover this, you want your base to be something sturdier than just, a, especially if you're using these really thin encyclopedia pages. Okay. So all I did was I made, cut a template out. Now you can make yours... You, you can be raggedy and also to realize you're going to cover it up too so you could let stuff hang off the edge so the one thing you want to do is you want to glue three pages together first like we did before just around the edges now on these you might want to put an X in the center too because you are going to be cutting out the edge over there so put an X and you guys it doesn't matter what kind of glue stick you use because you're going to be gluing stuff on top of this um, it doesn't matter what you use. So if you just have plain, you know, school glue, you know, the cheap school glue sticks that you get a couple times a year, you know, then just use that. Okay, so you're going to glue three pages together at least, right? Now I'm going to take a couple out in between mine, right? I'm going to take, because mine are so thin, but I'm just going to take a couple of them out. You don't have to. And you guys, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, because you're going to end up gluing stuff over all this. So don't worry. Sometimes these encyclopedia, like, this, this particular encyclopedia, because it's so old, it is, it's pretty fray. So I'm going to maybe, so now what I'll do is I'll glue one more, I'll glue that page I'll glue a page that I I'll glue that page down to the one before. Okay, so I have four on that. And I'm gonna tear out a few uh, I'll tear out a few more pages. And then I'm gonna glue three more down. I'm going to put an X on these because I'm going to end up cutting the edges off. You know what I'm excited about with this altered book? Because I've made so many altered books. Is I'm excited because we're all kind of doing the same thing. I'm super excited to see how everybody's comes out. Because you know how, like, it's like playing the game of telephone. You know, you can all be playing the same game, but don't all do it the same and I think that's what I really love most about being creative okay so that was like another four pages down now you need to have one more section because it's going to act as your back section what it all backs up to so um I guess I could take a few more pages out here I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to put in between it and what I may put in between it is, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I'm going to glue four of my pages together. So for those of you that got hair late, I'm not going to stream long today because I have to pick my daughter up from, because it's summer and she has tutoring and I thought it was next week. I mean, I thought it was Thursday, but I forgot that the teacher told me she was having some sort of dental surgery on Thursday. <laughs> you guys, I think I need a calendar for my, like, a calendar to remember, like, stuff that I think I'm going to remember. You know, it's like when she told me, I'm like, ah. Whose shop did you check? Whose shop are you talking about, Christine? I wasn't paying attention. How many of you guys are having like Etsy issues? 
because I'm never on there enough to not have Etsy issues, but I kind of do. Oh, no, I ship to the UK. You just have to message me. I haven't, the reason I don't set the settings, uh, the, the, Etsy changes its settings all the time, you guys, and I'm not up on all, my, all the Etsy settings, and it's ridiculous. So, no, if you wanted something, sure, absolutely. Okay, so this is the thing that you have to do. Um, you'd have to know. It's your first three pages. So you want to, the second set of pages is where you start. And you can like, you can see like I did mine where I, I laid the template down this way and then I flipped the template this way just so the curves would be like that. But you can do it any way you want, okay? So the next thing I did was I went to my book and not the very first section of pages that I glued, but the second section of pages that I glued, I laid my template, laid my template down to the edge and I drew it. That'd be great if I don't have a pen. You guys, this is my life. You know, the funny thing was, I was so looking forward to today. I was like, it can be such a, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. It's going to be such a relaxing thing. And then the tutor. You guys, we were late too, because I didn't even know about it. Okay. So you see that? And then you're going to cut it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. It does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Yeah, they can, but you don't have to do curves. You could do it any way you wanted to. Maybe you could do jagged. I mean, I don't know what kind of pages you want. I'm just showing you, these are just like fun little things that you can use in any project you do. Okay? Any project you do. I'm also making a magazine, a magazine cookbook, you guys. A magazine journal cookbook. Maybe I'll show you guys that on Friday. And it's fun. It's been fun. I told you guys I'm doing this low carb diet and my daughter that's in her 20s, she wants to do it with me. And she does when she's home, but she's, she, I think she's getting ready to get her own place. And so I'm making her a cookbook as a surprise. Okay. So now I'm going to see where I put it there. I'm going to decide how far back do I want my, so I think I want it, let's see, maybe I'm going to flip it, let's see, that looks good to me, so it's about, I don't know, maybe an inch from the spine, so I'm going to put it that way over here on this side, I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw it and then I'm going to cut it out. What will I do with all the space? Oh, I'm going to cover it in collage paper. And uh, oh, I might put pocket, I might put tags in it. Um, or I'm going to maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a little pull out envelope in the back. It's really meant to be more like an interactive book. It's really like, as Rosemary said, your recipe book. So Maybe in a regular altered book, you wouldn't put all of this in it. Maybe you would put some of it, but not all of it. You know? But it's just more like a recipe book. You know, haven't you ever taken sewing class? Like, I, my favorite thing about this type of book is I've taken, how many of you have taken, like, a class that you really loved? And you, and you took notes. You made, like, a little journal like this where you, like, tried all the techniques that they taught. I used to do that when I was, when I first got a serger, I got a serger, oh, I can't even tell you, see my oldest daughter is, um, she's 27, so I think I must have gotten my own first home serger, not an industrial serger, they serge differently, they serge one stitch, but a home serger, you can change the, um, you can change the tension settings on it, and you can do bunches of stitches. Now I'm going to ink this, not because it needs to be inked, just so you can see it. Okay. 
Maybe we need to visit Helen. What are we visiting? Helen, where are you? Where are we visiting you? I would love to visit you, Helen. Where are you? Which Helen, first of all? Is this my friend Helen? My beloved friend from New York, Helen? Okay, I'm not telling you to ink yours. I'm just showing you how mine is. Now see, it is, it's, it's a little loose. I can go back and glue it, but I'm not going to worry about it now because I'm going to glue stuff over it. Oh, when your other, when my other daughter leaves? Yes, come. Because, hi, Helen. She will invite her friends. That's my friend, Helen, from New York. I wanted to come. I was hoping, I was hoping, you know, Helen, it was my sister's, it's my sister's 50th birthday in July. And I was kind of hoping, because they were planning like a big thing. And I was hoping that I was going to be able to go see her and then come see you and, you know, just do a bunch of stuff I need to do and, but now she's decided she doesn't, she made a big deal. She doesn't want a party. She doesn't want, anyway, whatever. I'm staying out of it. We all turn 50 in our own way, right? Okay, so this is one page and this is the second page. So now you get the idea. And now this is the back of those pages, okay? Meaning that, say you decided you wanted to have this be a pocket back here. So then maybe you would glue your pocket here or glue your envelope there to have a to have a puck spot. Maybe you would um, sew the bottom and the top. I don't know. We'll work on it as we go. But this is just the next, so you get the idea. Hi, Patricia. I'm not following your convo. I missed it. I missed it. I wasn't. I was trying to glue because I'm not gonna because I'm because I have to go get my kid in a minute. I'm in a few minutes with Kelly Reed. Okay, let me go back. Let's see. You asked me what would I do with... Oh, all the space. I thought you meant the space in the book. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do with all my space? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe move my... I'm not going to say it out loud, move my craft room in there, because you know what will happen. It's then my kids will all move back, and my craft room will end up being like... <laughs> I wasn't following the conversation. You were teasing me. Has, have you guys gone over to Barb Owens' channel, how to get creative, how to get creative.com, Barb Owens' channel? Go look at her craft room. Oh my God. Her craft room is like amazing. Okay. Her craft room is like, my craft room is a tiny alcove in my dining room. Okay. Now we're going to slip to this, to the back of the book. So these, all these three pages, if you need to pin them together so that you don't do anything else with them. Until we move on to decorating them or doing the next, go ahead. Now I want to flip to the back of the book. Okay? So in the back of the book, I'm going to make one of those, one of these. You don't have to. You guys, this is your book. You can do what you want. But this is also like the, the, the recipe book. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Hey, Susan. Okay, so in the back of the book, we're going to make one of these accordion pockets, just like I made in my blue book. And I've made several of these. I've made them in magazines. I think I even have one on my channel, a cut accordion file folder, magazine file folder. Um, so we're going to make one of these. So we're going to flip to the back. All right. So the first thing you want to do is, let's see if I did it in this one, did I glue it? is I'm not going to glue it to the fly leaf. I'm going to, I am going to separate some pages to stay with the fly leaf. One, two, maybe three. Okay. So that whatever I decide on the back of here is going to be its own thing. So if you want to go ahead and glue those three pages to the back of your book, you can. Barb's craft, Barb has like a craft room. Barb's craft room is like a dream. Have you ever seen it? And she's got a technical director that's, a, that is a, a dream. She does have some, she does have some sponsors that can be a little bossy at times. Or boisterous, shall I say. Hi, APG. How are you? Okay. 
Yes, Barb has a fabulous space. And Barb is a fabulous... Barb, I think it was Barb and Shannon Green were the first people I ever watched on YouTube as far as crafting went. And I love them both. Yeah, how is our Mr. Race? How is he doing? Okay, so I've glued, I don't know how many pages down, maybe four. And there's a blank one in there. I should have torn it out because, you know, I love those. But these, these pages are a little, are a little fragile. Okay, so you don't have to be perfect in the glue department because you are going to end up putting stuff over them. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do, so this is going to be a an entirely its own section. So don't even mess with this. This is for something else later on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue the next three or four pages together. Now this you have to do, and you probably want to do it a little bit more sturdy than uh, the other gluing that you've done. Because this is going to make its own pocket. Just meaning, like, you know, add an X or an extra X in the middle of your in the middle of your so if I get to come back on in a little bit it'll be it'll be after it'll be probably in a half an hour or so after I end I have to drive to go get her if I do we'll see how we'll see how cranky she was so cranky that I had to take her to the that she was going to tutoring, she said, I thought this was the summer. I said, it is the summer, but you have to. Okay, so you have three, you have three or four pages glued together. Okay, now you want to definitely tear out at least, I don't know, depending on how thick your book is, I would tear out, I may tear out, I don't know, 10 pages. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect because this is going to be the inside of a pocket and nobody's going to know it's there but you. You don't know what you're going to do for Love Summer Art? I might do my magazine journal, my magazine cookbook. It's been fun. I've, I haven't finished it. I mean, it's still it's in the process. So I'm going to take out, I guess that was like 12 pages, okay? Now I'm going to glue the next set of three or four pages to itself this direction. Okay, now save those pages you pulled out because you do need them. Okay, so I'm gluing these this direction. Not to not to the three, not between the, the, not to the other section. This is the section we just did before. Ripped out 10, I ripped out 12 pages because my pages are so thin. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this. You guys, we will not get to the painting of this or the decorating today. We might get to the decorating. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to the decorating Friday. Or we'll, if not, we'll definitely get, it, get to it next Tuesday. This is not meant to be like a long, drawn-out series. It's meant to be just like a quickie, fun, let's alter a book, you know. Not like my glue book ridiculousness where I'm still gluing in that book. It has like, I don't know, 600 pages or something. You weren't paying attention. What am I gluing the other way? I'm gluing the other three. I'll show you. Just give me one second, Roy, and I'll show you, okay? Okay, so we're making this accordion pocket, okay? We're making this accordion pocket, all right? So the first thing you do is we glued four pages at the back of the book. Like I left, I glue, I left my fly leaf and I glued some pages to my fly leaf just to make it stronger, and that's not part of the, the pocket. This one is four pages glued together, then I tore out about 12 or 14 pages in between, and then I glued 
three or four pages to the other side. Do you see? Because so, it's going to make a pocket, so it's going to be like this. Maybe you'll just glue an R in the glue book. That sounds fun. Do something fancy like play with markers. You're so funny. Oh, you were missing him today, Barb. We love you, Barb. Okay. Now this is the part that you guys have to pay attention to, okay? This is the part. This is the part that if, if you can mess anything up, you will. Alright. Hang on, I'm gonna glue one more page to it because it's there's this particular and I like it, but have you remember those like onion skin papers that you had, like growing up like typing paper kind of thing? It was like super thin. These pages are like that. They feel amazing, but they're like a little, a little like that. Okay, the pages you tore out. This is what you need, depending upon how thick or how thin your pages are. Um, I'm wondering if I can do mine with just. I may glue two pages together. Two. Um. Let's just do a two page. You're gonna need four pages for the in between. So. Glue two together because mine are thin. You don't, you know, it, if yours aren't thin, then don't worry about it. But mine are thin. And because I want it to be a functional pocket, um, I'm just going to, I'm not gluing it. I'm not doing a fabulous glue job. I'm just doing all the way around and an X in the center. And I'll show you why. Because you're going to fold them like accordions. And it won't really matter, but I just want, my pages are like, they're almost... I don't want to say they're like rice paper, but kind of. Okay, so glue two pages together. And then you're going to take that and you're going to fold it in half. Just like this. And you want to fold it in half long ways. I mean, fat ways. Do you know what I mean? The Not this direction. Length ways. Length of the book ways. Okay, you're going to fold it together like that. Hi, bunny. Okay, then you're going to fold it again in half again. So you folded it in the half. And you folded it in half. Now you're going to take one side of it and fold it back on itself. I'll show you. It's going to make like an M or a W. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, like that. Do you see? Like an M or a W. Oh, so Barb, yeah, I think we all do that with our kids. It has not, it's not you that has to release a lot. We all do the same thing. Now you want to make this exact thing one more time. Okay? Kind of like origami. Okay? So you want to go ahead and glue two pages together. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move my book out of the way. My monochromatic book. Next time I do it, maybe I'll make a book with, uh, I don't know, try to find one that has colors or something in it so you actually can see the difference. So I don't know exactly, I mean, this is going to definitely be my recipe book, but I don't know exactly, like, I'm going to put some pictures and stuff in mine, but I'll give you guys the 411 as we begin. We probably, maybe it'll be a three part, maybe it'll take three times to finish it, I don't know. I love those accordion pockets too. I kind of have a thing for them. It's a little ridiculous, but I do. Okay, so you went, once again, you're going to fold it in half after you've glued your two pages together. Or if you don't, it's fine. Just if you don't glue them together, that's fine. It's just going to be, it's going to be like the gussets on the side of your book. Okay, and then you want to fold it back, fold it again, and then you want to fold it back. And then flip it over and fold it back. Now the one thing you want to do is see the side that has like, so one side is closed. Do you see like there's, an, that's not open, but this one's open. Okay, the side that's open that has the pages that are open, you want to put glue there. Glue them to each other. Okay, and the only reason why is because when you put them in your book, you don't want them to be open. 
Okay, so I glued that, so there's one. Let me go back and glue this one. And there's the other. Okay, now we're going to put it in our book. Now you do need some paper clips for this because unless they dry fast, which my glue doesn't always dry fast. Okay, so you're going back to the back of the book where you have your section of three or four pages glued together and then you have your other section of three or four pages glued together where you've torn out some in between. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to decide, I like mine with the the point on the inside, the mountain on the inside, right? So this is how I do mine. But you guys, you know, it's a, it's a trial and error thing, but it works every time. So I like mine with the mountain on the inside. So you want to put glue on on the outside edge of your the outside edge of your W because it's a W when it faces into the book. And you want to go ahead and try to get it into the seam and glue it down to the page on one side. Okay. And then you want to turn your book around and do the same thing on the opposite side on this one. Don't ask me why, but this is this is how I found it works best for me. But you know, if you guys find a better way. So I, I've made these books where they have multiples of these, like accordion pockets. Okay, and you want the you want the mountain on the inside. Okay, so now this is what your book looks like. Can you see it? What did you say? Glue into the pocket book crack. Yeah. Glue into the book crack if you can. And I'm just using glue stick. Okay, so now this is the fun part. This is like where you get to see how it comes out. And you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, it's, but it comes out perfect. And it works out anyway because by the time you start putting all kinds of stuff in your book, you know, It's usually the very first thing that I do on any altered book I'm going to make is I put one of these pockets in it. Because then if I cut up bits and pieces that I want to save or keep or whatever, <laughs> I stick them in that pocket and they last at the back of the book. You know, that I don't have to go looking for them. Okay, now all you need to do is you're going to just push the little thing in the crack and then close the book. And it will, you may have to manipulate it a tiny bit, see, just to get it to the edge. But you can't mess it up. I'm telling you, you can't. I've done this like a million times. There's just like no way to mess it up. Now, sometimes I've done the pages where they'll end up sticking out on the top, and that's okay. You can cut them. Just don't do it right now. And then I just burnish it down with, with my handy burnisher at the top of the glue stick. the and know that if you lay your book flat and you lay something on top of it it will all end up being it'll all flatten out okay so there is your pocket cool yeah so easy you need to make some shelly pockets oh please i didn't invent this i don't know who did but you can buy those accordion folders. I don't buy anything anymore if I can help it. What did you say, Malia? I missed your great idea. I do make them out of magazines. I had a whole, there's a tutorial somewhere on my, my busy channel. Okay, my lovelies, I have to run. I will try to come back today. If I don't, if something, I can't promise because the 12 year old may have a meltdown. If she doesn't have a meltdown, then I will come back and we can work on a few more pages. If not, I will see you on Friday. Um, so if you want to hang out for the next, I, I know I won't be back for at least a half an hour because it takes me 15 minutes to get there. <laughs> you saw it here, so now it's a Shelly pocket. So if you, um, it takes 15 minutes to get there and 15 minutes to get back. 
so this is just the beginning okay we're going to do the decorating we're not decorating this week but we still have the rest of our book to alter now if you got a really really big encyclopedia just do this and part of it you don't have to you know what i mean you don't have to do the same techniques in this you know whatever you have make it work for you and it's not supposed to be hard it's supposed to be fun and there's no right or wrong so you can't get it wrong no matter what all right my lovelies maybe i'll see you in half an hour if not i'll definitely see you on friday and as always from my heart to your heart i'm sending you so much aloha and thanks for bearing with me and my ridiculousness <laughs> oh life just gets in the way sometimes all right see you in a little bit if not, I'll see you Friday.